Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported processor. This method is super super simple, so what you have to do firstly is download the Windows 11 ISO. For this you need to access your browser and simply click on the link that I posted in the description below. This link is the official Microsoft webpage for downloading Windows 11. So in here what you have to do is simply scroll down until you find the download Windows 11 disk image or ISO and then select the download version by clicking on the drop down menu. Now click on Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO and afterwards click on the blue download button. This will take you to select more preferences for your download. So now you have to select the product language, click the drop down menu and select the language that you want to choose. Then again press on the blue confirm button and lastly click on the blue 64 bit download button. Make sure to choose a location for your desktop and simply click on the save button. Now the next thing you have to do is simply minimize the browser and bypass the CPU check by editing the Windows registry. So to do this simply press the Windows button and type in reg edit and select registry editor from the search results. Now in here you have to navigate to the following location. H key local machine, then double click on system to expand it. Afterwards scroll down until you find the setup key and double click on it to expand it. And lastly click on the Mo setup. Now in here on the right side of the window just make sure to right click on an empty space and hover over new and select the DWORD value. What you have to do now is simply rename this value to allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. After renaming it simply double click on this key and in the value data make sure to put 1 instead of 0. Now you can simply press on OK to save the changes. Now once you restart your PC and go for the next solution, the system will ignore any shortcomings regarding your CPU and even with the TPM 2.0 requirement. And now the last thing you have to do is simply open the ISO in Windows Explorer and launch the setup. To do this right click on the ISO file and select the mount option. You will see that a new virtual drive will appear on your PC. And then the last thing you have to do is simply double click on the setup.exe file to start the installation process. And that's it. Now you can install Windows 11 on an unsupported processor. That was super simple, isn't it? As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.